telling you. Hi, this is Gil. Hi, everybody. So today is July 6th, 2024. So this is two days after the 4th of July. I had fun. I mean, it was fun for me. But going to the fireworks, man, like the fireworks stand that day, my gosh, man, like the prices of those things, man. Damn, man. I couldn't believe the price of those fireworks, man. Like, they, I mean, there was a box, it was a, like a package that went as high as almost a thousand dollars, man. My gosh, a thousand dollars to buy just to buy to buy a package of fireworks, man. I can imagine that. I mean, in my neighborhood right here, I mean, there was, there was it, it appeared to me that there was a lot of family gatherings, which must have been really fun for them, you know. Like we didn't have any sort of family gatherings, but I still had fun. I mean, so I just. <clears throat> rode around San Bernardino just for fun and I got the 360 camera but anyway and then and then I went to the fire X stand right there close to my old house and I um I wanted to get something I wanted to get a little firework so we can have a little fun or so and then and then <laughs> the cheapest one they had was like two hundred dollars for a package and they ran out all the small ones some small individual stuff I wanted to get like the flowers but they had ran out, I mean. <laughs> and then, um, what else? So I just ended up with the sparklers, you know. I just, and, and then I bought two boxes, and it cost me like, 21 bucks just to buy those. <laughs> $21, man, to buy two boxes of those. Well, it was like a pack of six. I got like a, a total of 12, 12 packs of those things. Total for like 30 or $22 or something. Yeah, they, they got, it's really expensive, man. And people are all are all in line buying them left and right, man. It's like shit, people are spending $200. Damn. Like, man, it's like, apparently people sure have money, man, I tell you. But anyway, well, I had my fun. I had fun. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway. So, welcome to my politic-free channel. Where I keep the politics away from me as much as I can, but so, anyways, I mean, today, today is uh, July sixth. <clears throat> Telling you, so I was supposed to actually um upload a, I was supposed to put together a video about my, my mom being here and stuff like visiting. I'm supposed to put one up, but. I mean, today, I think there was a glitch on my program today on my computer, the um, the Windows Media Movie Maker, like the old program. I mean, and I was trying, trying, trying to put the stuff that I made with an iPhone, video that I made with an iPhone, and, and somehow it wasn't working. I don't know if it was just a glitch for the day or, or if Windows Media Maker doesn't support the files, the, the move files like mov files I, I don't know i mean after I, I, I think it used to do it before i mean but i don't know but right now and then i'm looking i'm looking i was researching on what what movie maker is the best for youtubers like me what's the best one or what do youtubers use typically and then i research i click on that and, and then it shows me about a million different programs I get overwhelmed and then for me I just I don't want to even bother because I'm overwhelmed I'm overwhelmed by so many millions of choices you know that, that, that's one of those things I don't like it's like when it's so many millions of choices and then I don't know I mean do I do I have time to research all that stuff do I have time to be researching which one's the best one and crap you know <laughs> and, and, it's too much, man. It's like with so many people, like trying to sell their programs, and that goes with everything else. I mean, like, I get overwhelmed, you know. Like, I get overwhelmed. But so far, I know I I got I got like I narrowed it down to, like some people say, like some of the number one programs they use is Adobe, Premiere, something, and another one is like uh, Fillmore, Fillmore. It's something like that. Fillmore. I think it's named something like that. I mean, it's like that. I mean, it's like it comes down to a few, but but I'm still but but when I click on that Fillmore website, there's about 20 million um 20 million versions of it. <laughs> Come on, man! Like you tell me which one. I mean, like 
It's like I click click on the on the link on Premiere, like uh, Adobe Premiere, and then and then it's popping up with about 20 different versions. So which one? I mean, I get a little overwhelmed with that. And somebody needs to tell me just be more simple, man. You guys got to be more simple than that, man. Instead of give me all that, all these like 20,000 choices, and I, I don't have time to be researching which ones which ones are best for me, man. So I, I just say that. That's one of the reasons why I have not changed from the Windows Media Movie Maker. That's why I've been on the same one, on the same um, um, program because of that, you know, because I get overwhelmed with them. That, that's one of those reasons why. I mean, and, then the, and like I said on another video, that's one of the reasons why. That's one of those things that I just don't like in today's times. There's too much, too much complication of technology you know so yeah so right now i'm still kind of researching but <clears throat> i haven't decided which one yet i mean maybe you guys can tell me which one i mean i don't really care if i have to pay to buy this program but as long as it's not it's not one of these stupid endless subscription crap you know I'd, like where i'll be paying that for the rest of my life that's stupid stuff man it's stupidest things i ever seen in my life these endless subscribe that's stupid man so I, as long as it's not something that i would have to be paying endless subscription i just want to buy the program outright and be mine for the rest of my life like where i would never have to pay any anything else to use it i mean like like we do with a phone or something we buy a phone or or we buy anything a tv or something we buy the tv and it's ours for keeps like for the exa good example of CDs, we buy the CDs and it's ours to keep for life. It's not like Spotify where you have an endless subscription service and then you have to, like you, it never ends, you know. Yeah, those are things that I'm not fond of. Anything that has endless subscriptions, you know. Telling you, so yeah, so uh, and then you know the air conditioner or house it broke, it broke because it, it's been really hot in the last few days. I mean. I passed 100 degrees over here in California, in my area anyway. Passed 100 degrees, you know, like, yeah, I mean, it's been really hot, I mean. So, and apparently the air conditioner broke in our house. So we were without air conditioner for a couple of days. And so we had Jenny Lynn's co-worker come over to check it out. And it was just the cap capacitor or capicator that broke. So it, it was like a... 30 book, $30 part, and then he replaced it and charged us $120, and so, then now the air conditioner works again, so, it's all good now, and <laughs> look at me and my shadow, right now, well, right now, it's still, it was really hot today, it was, I think it was 102 today, so, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, so, this lawn right here, I just mowed this lawn, like, <laughs> like, on July 3rd and it's all it already needs a new and it already needs more mowing again <laughs> telling you man one thing that I obviously don't know like that, that I obviously saw that I, that I um that I see about grass is like grass grows really fast during the summer months when it gets its water anyway I mean it grows really really fast I have to be doing lawn work really often very often and during the summer months maybe sometimes as many as two times a week i have to mow this lawn so what i did what i did is i'm cutting the watering in half i cut the watering in half and maybe that should help well you know in reality as i found out i mean we don't really need to water that often that often you know like during the summer months because i think i found out that we can actually get away get away with maybe once a week possibly i mean we can get away with watering maybe for 30 minutes once a week or something you know yeah i'm learning more about the nature of all this and then i put the grass i put fertilizer every few months but in the winter months is where it grows really slow really slow and sometimes i don't mow the lawn for at least i don't mow it until a month once a month you know something like that Telling you, so my birthday is coming up right now. This is July 6th, a month away before I turn 54. So, yeah, I mean, right now it's like I, I know I rode my bike in the last few days, like 
I've been riding my bike a little bit more often lately because it's just fun. I mean, I rode 11, I rode like 13 miles the other day, I had like gone, like gone back to my old house, and then I rode that little mountain road hill, and I, I scaled it without stopping, so it, it tells me that my health is in good condition, so, well, it, at least it, I'm happy about that, I mean, and then, anyway, so, riding bikes and stuff, I want to ride trails i want to write i want to go back to my hobbies while i'm still looking for a job you know while i'm filling out applications and while i'm i'm gonna start well i'm gonna wait two more weeks but i have the i have the um the the um a resume up there i don't think i heard anything because i have the resume on my on my on the cal jobs website right now i have it up right now and see what's happening. I have to go check it. I have to check for any updates. So, anyways, but my severance is running out already. So I only have two weeks left on that. So I mean, see, my plan was to to take two months off. You know, like not doing anything. But but I had already put this resume up. So I mean, it uh, counts as an application for now. I mean, but I mean. Sometimes a resume, I mean, from my experience, I mean, they, they don't really, they don't really, I mean, I don't really get anything coming out of it, I mean, until <laughs> you know, a couple months later, you know, so yeah, I mean, anyway, I mean, so right now I'm just living it up, telling you, let's go inside this Hyundai, the Mercury, so yeah, anyways. So I just, I drove this car the other day, I mean, for a few minutes to exercise it a little, you know, yeah. Because my kids actually wanted to ride in it, or Natalie wanted to ride it with her two friends. I mean, they wanted to ride in this car, I mean, because it's different, I mean, yeah. You don't see cars like this every day, I mean. I'm telling you, so, you know what? You know, one thing I have to say about myself is internet is very addicting, very addicting, and I cannot help it. I, I'm, I'm guilty of it myself. The internet gets addicting because I, I get bored, you know, naturally. So I mean, uh, like, because of the internet being so readily available, so easy to access, you go to the internet. For me, at the moment, I, I just like I like like to look at random stuff. I mean, I'm totally random because I get bored. But but I, it's fun to look at random things, random subjects on the internet. But for me, I get fascinated with the animals, you know, like lions and tigers catching prey. I mean, I, I, I get interested in that. That's interesting to me. I mean, yeah, I mean, so yeah, lions and well, all the predators, you know, lions and like catching the zebras and stuff like that. That gets all interesting, you know, and especially like some of those videos where, where they eat a warthog alive and stuff, all that, yeah, that's gnarly, man, I tell you, but I get kind of fascinated watching that stuff, you know, because it's nature, and it's, I mean, there's nothing you can do, I mean, it's how nature is, I mean, I mean, like, when you think of, like, people being cruel with each other, or when you think of people killing pigs for their meat and stuff, and people get all mad at them, about people who kill them, well, I look at the lion, you know, they kill the warthogs and eat them alive, I mean, yeah, <laughs> That's how I think of it. People like get mad at uh, like uh, people killing cows and chickens and whatever for the meat and stuff. Well, look at the lions before you complain, you know. Look at the lions in the wild, you know. They'll kill, they'll mercifully, mercifully kill lion, uh, uh, kill um, zebras and warhawks. No mercy and stuff, you know. So anyway, and then of course, I mean. Other things come, pop up at random, you know, and then I get all interested and I get all hooked up on the internet, you know, like, so, I mean, I don't know what I can do, though. What I do, like, I'm out here because of it right now, because the internet is too addicting. So, like, sometimes I just like to get out and just free, free the fresh air and then just ride my bike or something, you know, I just, sometimes I like to do that. I'm probably going to do that right now, I mean, but Jenny Lynn wants to go to the mall. Just for fun, I mean, sometimes we like to go to the eatery, but I mean, sometimes they get bored and we just want to go to the mall and just get out and breathe the fresh air. We were kind of wanting to go to the beach, but it's really hot to be out there right now, I mean, because 
if you can get really badly burned, you know, like, I mean, even if you have the, I mean, being in the sun, can that could be very damaging to me too, especially me, I'm older, I mean, yeah, so anyway, so what am I, so what, tip, 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 typically today, I mean, I didn't really do a lot. Well, now, now, let's talk about 80s. So, if I was, like, on a Saturday, what would I be doing at this time, say, say, um, 40, 40 years ago, in 1985? What would I be doing if I was on a Saturday, like, day off from school during the summer of, of 1985? Four. Well, well, 1984, that was a very fun year for me. At this time, I think my family had just came over from Mexico. And so we would have a lot of family gatherings. Man, I thought that was a lot of fun, man, like during those times. But, but we'd be taking, talking about the typical 80s, like say 85, 86, 87, well, 83. If I can remember the summer of 83... What did I do on a typical Saturday, like about this? Well, you know what? <clears throat> Specifically 1983, at this time, what do I remember doing at this time? Well, I mean, I think we would just go with our neighbors and play basketball, like uh, on our garage or something, on our driveway. We just like, or we would ride our bikes or something, or we would just like hang out with our friends. But if it was going, say, like going on to the late 80s, what did we typically do during the summer months? Well, 88, for an example. Well, 1988 specifically. I remember we did a lot of little family gatherings. Like on a day like this, we typically had a lot of gatherings, family gatherings. And um, we had a lot of visitors. My mom did. I mean, so I remember, I mean, that's what we typically did, you know, like during my days. I was like in the four, 40 years ago. But in today's times, you know, like, we hardly do, we don't do anything like that anymore in these days. Like, family gatherings, we don't, we don't really have that much anymore. I mean, we don't do that that much anymore because everybody's got their own life. And plus the internet, I think the internet's taken over. Everybody's, like, doing the internet and stuff. I mean, <clears throat> occasionally we probably might go to San Diego. But even then, you know, like, I mean... Uh, like they're, they're kind of hooked on the internet too. Everybody's like hooked on the internet. We're, we're all hooked on the internet. And we, well, once in a great while, we'll probably have like a little barbecue cookout once in a while. But I mean, for us, but these days it's a bit different. I mean, because the internet, the internet's really taken over. But in the 80s, <clears throat> if I would be talking about, but well, now let's say the 90s, like what did we typically do in the 90s? I mean, what do I remember? I mean, this time 30 years ago, 94, what do I remember my typical Saturday? I have it all up on YouTube, my videos. July 1994 specifically, I remember. I mean, I mean, like Joe, my stepdad, we, we had a lot of family gatherings back then, especially with Joe, because it was fun, you know, like Joe was fun, it was fun to be, hang out with. I mean, my brother loved hanging out with Joe, Hector, and then, and then, of course, it was about the time when Arnold bought the computer, and we had a little family gathering. We had our fun, and we used to play games and stuff. Or Joe used to like to play some games, or I mean, or he would just do. They would drink and stuff. But for me, I used to just like watch them, or or like what did I used to typically do? I used to, used to hear their conversations and stuff. I mean, yeah. We had our fun times. Apparently, there was no phones. There was no phones that anybody would be playing on the internet and stuff. There was no internet in those days. So, well, like we was, we used to just have our family gatherings all the time, you know. So, but now in today's times, in today's times, it's just not the same. I mean, but even like 20 years ago, 2004, about this time, 2004. I mean, we we had our little gatherings. We were still doing little gatherings and stuff. But but in today's times, it's it's dwindled over time, you know, about, about like, because the internet's really taken over, man. So, yeah, I mean, so, and then for me, I'm trying to get out of this. So I'm, well, for me, trying to actually just, um, <clears throat> go out of, I'm just trying to get out. Like, right now, I like to hang out here, like where I am now. I like to do this, just hang out, breathe the fresh air, I mean. 
and then and then sometimes I, as soon as I put this phone away I'll be riding my bike around a block or two sometimes I like to ride around a little bit I mean just to get out I mean I want to get out so yeah so today July 6 2024 I wonder what things will look like say by the end of uh, by the end of this decade you know yeah I wonder all right well okay I'll see you on the next video, so I hope you like this blog of the day. Alright, see you on the next one.